Hi, I'm Dori Contreras, curator of paleobotany at the Pearl Museum of Nature and Science. As a paleobotanist, I use fossil plants, like this one, to study Earth history, both by understanding how plants have changed through time, as well as using them to reconstruct ancient environments. Fossil plants really provide some of the best evidence we have for investigating past environments on land through geologic time. By digging up and studying all the fossil plants in a single deposit, we're able to start piecing together what the vegetation, the flora, looked like at the time. This goes everything from looking at the herbs to the shrubs and to the canopy trees. By understanding what the vegetation looked like, we get a picture of what the habitats for animals at the time were, where they lived, what they ate, how they lived. So plants also provide a lot of direct clues about climate. One of the really important and useful ones is that plants can be used to estimate the average annual temperature of a place just based on one very simple trait, and that's the leaf margin. So let's take a quick look at the plants in my garden so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so here's a little plant that's just popped up. And you can see on this one, it has these lovely leaves. Here's the edge of the leaf, so that's what we call the leaf margin, this edge. And this one has these serrations on the edge, kind of like the edge of a knife. We call them teeth. So this we would call a tooth leaf. It has a tooth margin. In contrast, here's a leaf that doesn't have those teeth on the edge. Instead, the edge of this leaf is really smooth. So we call this one a smooth margin or sometimes use the term entire margin. So after you count up all the species in a flora that have smooth margins and all the species in the flora that have tooth margins, the percentage of species with smooth margins corresponds to the average annual temperature of that location. You may be wondering, why do leaves tell us about climate? You can think of plants like living machines that process their environment. They make usable energy from light, water, and gases in the atmosphere. And temperature, whether it's too cold or too hot, affects their ability to perform their job. And since plants can't move, they have to be able to work under whatever conditions they're growing in. So the plants that live in an area are adapted for those specific conditions, and those adaptations show in their leaves. Back to temperature and leaf margins. After scientists realized there's a relationship between leaf margins and temperature, they went out and collected data from floors in all sorts of climates. And then by graphing the percent of smooth margin species in a flora and the average annual temperature, they were able to show that there's a really strong linear relationship between the two, meaning that the points follow a line. So the more species with smooth margins, the higher the temperature. Having a strong known relationship like this allows us to make predictions, which brings us to the fossil record. If we have a fossil flora where, say, 60% of the species have smooth margins, we can draw a line straight up from that point on the x-axis till we reach the diagonal line. And then we can draw a line over to the y-axis to get the temperature in both Celsius and Fahrenheit. In this case, 60% is 67 degrees Fahrenheit. Or for an even more precise way, you can use the equation that describes this line to calculate the temperature. This method has been used on many fossil floors through geologic time and has been a great source of information about earth temperature and environments in deep time. Here we've developed an exercise where you can use your new paleobotanical skills to reconstruct the climate and vegetation for the late Cretaceous of Alaska during the time of dinosaurs. You'll use illustrations of fossil plants to estimate temperature and then that plus additional clues to draw what you think the environment looked like at the time. Just a little hint, it was very different than today.